I'm getting money, playboy, who was you? you? Or a piff flying south, they come holla at you, dude yes, Burn the whole town down to his late town Robin Leach ain't got shit on my lifestyle oh, Riding filthy on the I-95 G-Stacks, I've been blowing that since 9-5 What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode like of Maximilian Must Know Got what I think is just a tremendous cheapie for you guys. Um, I did a top bargain fragrance list for 2014, ones that I purchased in that year. And this one came in second, only below a fragrance from the Indie House West Third brand called Tobacco 1812, which to me at least is a $30 alternative to Tom Ford's Tobacco Vigny. This one is from the house of Mabuson and it is called M generation now the way i found out about this fragrance is from my friend sebastian and his wonderful channel man loves cologne he's got a great channel that i highly recommend uh checking out if you already have it he does do the high-end scents and he does do these cheapies as well and that's very much my style you know i love the zerjovs and the amouages and the creeds of the world but i also love finding value and getting some of the lesser known gems in the community but this house, Malbusson, is one that I knew next to nothing about. Uh, it's a French house that was started in the 1920s as a jewelry house. They earned awards in the 20s, and in the 30s, they came out with a very highly regarded gemstone collection. They did three different exhibitions, one centered around rubies, one centered around emeralds, and one centered ar around diamonds. And uh, what I learned about this house that I found to be most interesting was that in each decade, they've done something to help grow and sustain their business. In the 1940s, when gold was difficult to acquire because of the war, they did pieces without gold. In the 60s and 70s, with all the protests and nonconformist views coming to light, they did totally new designs um, and shapes in their pieces. And in the 80s, they did an entire collection to separate the differences between light and shadow. And in the 2000s, they launched their very first fragrance. It's the self-titled Mabusson for Women. In 2008, they opened their first boutique in New York. And these days, Mabusson is looked at as the Parisian equivalent of New York's Tiffany's. They currently have 14 fragrances in their collection. The earliest was launched in 2000, and the most recent was launched in 2013. Now, as I said, the one I'm talking about today with you guys is called M Generation. And M Generation came out in 2010. Notes on M Generation are bergamot, ginger, nutmeg, bay leaf, and Szechuan pepper at the top, iris, incense, cinnamon, and Egyptian jasmine in the base. Um, in the middle, I'm sorry, and labdanum, cedar, guyac wood, and sandalwood in the base. Now, as far as your presentation goes, you're going to get a box that's going to say M Generation, Mabusson. Um, it sort of looks like this is metal, almost a dog tag, but it is not. Um, it is an eau de parfum concentration. Um, more information on the back, barcode and um, batch number on the bottom, and that is it. Now the bottle is very much like a piece of artwork. Uh, you could see it's very, very heavy. Um, it has a very odd sort of shape. It's like a gold, um, I'm trying to think like a golden, um, metal almost like a gold metal and the way the sprayer works you can see here it's clear um, at the top and what you have to do it's locked in this position you cannot spray it Mabuson right there so what you have to do is turn it and then when you turn it you get very very nice sprays and then to lock it you just twist it again and it sits you know however you want to do it I like sitting it like that you could sit it like that um, really funky cool shape and again very very heavy very elegant sort of the, the nice type of design you would expect from a from a, a jewelry company um, and as far as availability um, I was able to find this on Amazon this is the 100 ml of EDP which is the only concentration you're gonna find it in and I believe I paid 33 or 32 dollars for this so really uh, really great um, great price and I believe Amazon does still have it available if you're looking for it yourself well how can I describe the way this fragrance smells well it's very easy to me walk with me on this one picture incense sticks burning and the smoke is burning and passing through this the hole in an entomin cinnamon powder donut 
I realized that might sound completely insane and it took me a while to place that sort of aroma, but that's really what I get out of its scent. There's also a baby powder vibe to this one. Um, it reminds me, the smell reminds me of two other fragrances. Um, if I'm being honest, it smells a little bit like Boy d'Argent by Dior in the Privé line and a lot like Hommage Jean by La Lique. But the quality of this fucking scent is just insane. And I've seen several people remark online, this could have been in the Comme des Garçons incense series. That's sort of the quality you're dealing with. I don't know that I agree with that, um, only based on performance issues, which I'll get to in a bit. But the smell of this fragrance is just really off the charts. You get a bit of freshness in the opening, um, some light citrus and ginger, and a little bit of incense at the top. And as it dries down, you're gonna start to pick up these spicy nuances, that cinnamon, uh, the guyac wood, vanilla, labdanum, incense. It's just a great, light incense scent and because of the cinnamon to me i almost look at this personally um, as a gourmand incense scent but the problem for me at least is that performance just isn't great you know for an edp it just doesn't project wonderfully sillage i would say is modest at best longevity is also spotty you're not going to get more than five or six hours at this at the most um, because of that, I think it's a wonderful work scent. You know, sometimes people can be too afraid to wear incense to work because, you know, obviously it can be powerful and overbearing. I remember one time, the first time I wear Fusion Sac Real Oui, I really didn't know its power. Um, and I sprayed three or four sprays on my chest and, and there was a girl who's allergic to, to, to smell or to, to fragrances and she was dying. I had a meeting in her office and she was, it was really bad. So <laughs> you can fuck up with, with incense pretty easily. But because of the light nature of this one, um, it can work in, in professional situations and, and, and it can also work in casual or social situations. Certainly evening is, is a great time to wear this fragrance. As far as time of, of year goes, um, I think winter, fall, and spring. Um, summer, probably not. If you were looking for other scents like this because you can't get this one, um, or, or just wouldn't want this one. Uh, Boy de Argent, obviously, as I said, uh, with incense would be close to this. And the aforementioned Lalique Homage Homme. And then um, Aids de Venustis has a, uh, in, like, a sort of a oceanic incense fragrance that I'm gonna be uh, reviewing in, in a while. It's called Copal de Azor, it's their newest one. And that's sort of a beachy incense. So it's different than this, but it's sort of that same vibe of, of light incense. I think someone trying to get you to buy this fragrance will tell you that at the price point, you're not going to do better um, if you're looking for something incense-based and something something very different. Um, there just isn't much like this on the discount shelves. And the presentation, um, to me, is better than presentations for fragrances at five or six times the, the price of this one. I also think, though, someone trying to dissuade you from this would probably tell you that unless you like powdery incense fragrances no amount of money is going to be worth it for you and there are performance issues with this one and for 35 dollars you can get fragrances that at very least are going to perform better than m generation for me what it comes down to is that i love the fucking smell of this fragrance i love the presentation i love the fact that i was able to get this very easily on amazon for under 40 bucks um I wish it had more oomph to it, you know, in an auto part form, I kind of feel like, you know, it, it just doesn't do what it's supposed to. But um, I'm going to still go ahead and give this fragrance an eight and a half out of ten. Um, you know, I took a point, a half point off because of the longevity and, and a full point off because of that projection. Um, but everything else about this fragrance is just a one and I don't see how you could have a collection and, and really not want this in especially if you like niche because this is basically uh, a niche fragrance with a with a discount price tag as far as the house goes now I would definitely like to look at some other um, fragrances from Mabusson and hopefully uh, review some of those in the in the future as well but uh, I really enjoy this one and I really recommend you guys go out there and give this one a look I hope you've enjoyed this video between them and the kids that's on I can freestyle and the kid got songs They say you gotta wait to turn to stay patient Upside I gotta hear my song take it Bang niggas, bang bang killer